Well, I'm Cynthia Hornberg. This is my husband, Hal. And we've lived in this area for quite a while, and we're proud members of this church for a long time. So, uh, and we're willing volunteers. You know, one thing I think we're missing is that people, people see us, people see the name tags, people see things about Stephen Ministry, but people really don't know what it's there to do. Stephen Ministry is a listening ministry that's very confidential. You'll work with trained people that are just there to be your friends and walk with you. It's a helping uh, people come into an issue that they don't want to face alone, that they pass a death or an illness or something. Then we come alongside them and do whatever we can to make them feel comfortable in their situation and give them uh, encouragement for what they're going through. Does that sound right? That's pretty good. <laughs> you know, I've got kind of a one and a half minute story. Um, about seven or eight years ago, I went through a very rough patch. Um, I was depressed. I had been accused of contract fraud. And in the two and a half years that it took from the first allegation until I got that welcome letter in the mail that said, sorry about that, no harm, no foul, I realized now I was depressed, I was angry, and I was also very concerned that my bride had been diagnosed with stage 3B breast cancer and was given a one in three chance to make it five years. So in that condition, I went on a walk to Emmaus and saw men out there lighting a path on a dark night that we could get from one place to another. And I came away from that saying and asking God to show me a way that I can hold the light for someone else. And then I found the Stephen Ministry program. Now I'll tell you, I wish that I had had a Stephen Minister during that two and a half year period, but we didn't even know about the program at that time. So I was motivated. Uh, I didn't find Stephen Ministry, I think it found me. But I just wanted to hold the light for other men. I know from personal experience, I got through this on my own and with Cynthia's help, but I could have done it much, much easier if I'd have had someone walking with me in those painful days. So I would tell men and women, if you think someone being beside you, listening to you, working with you, being your friend would help you through a dark patch, don't be reluctant to reach out. You know, the church is not a building. The church is a living organism of human beings. Part of the reason they're there other than to fill their souls with, with good things that God brings is to help each other. If you've got something going on in your life that's causing a fundamental problem or an emotional issue, you're hurting, reach out, maybe we can help. We're there for you if you want us to be.